Hey guys, we are gearing up for our next bear boat adventure in the Abacos Bahamas next week. So while we were getting things out and ready, we figured it would be a good time to film what we take on our adventures. Uh, so stick around for the must have items for your bear boat charter. Okay, the most important thing that we like to tell people is to not overpack. Uh, boat life is pretty simple, you don't need much, and especially in the islands, everything is pretty casual, so less is more. So definitely travel light when you're going on a bear boat charter. So for luggage, we try to recommend not bringing a hard-sided roller suitcase. Um, those are just not easy to store on a sailboat. You're limited to space. Uh, so we recommend either a backpack or a duffel bag, something that will be collapsible and easy to store away. Um, I recommend the eBags Motherload Backpack. This is the regular size. It holds a lot of stuff, but also has organization for your smaller items. I've taken it on every trip we've gone and it is super handy for me. Um, my husband likes the K3 40 liter dry bag. Um, it is waterproof, so super convenient for being on a boat. Uh, but yeah, this, you just throw everything inside and you're ready to go. For clothing for girls, I would recommend three to four bathing suits if you're going for a seven night charter. Definitely a couple of cover-ups, maybe a couple of sundresses if you know you're going out for dinner off the boat, um, shorts, t-shirts, a couple UV uh, long sleeve shirts just to protect you from getting sunburned since you're going to be in the sun all week. For shoes, all you really need are some flip-flops, um, but you can also take some water shoes if you know your area is going to be rocky or you're going to be doing a lot of walking around town. And kind of the similar thing for guys, uh, three to four pairs of board shorts, a couple of shirts, long sleeve UV uh, shirts for the day, maybe a couple of nice collared shirts if you know you're gonna go off the boat at night for dinner. Um, and same with flip flops and water shoes for the guys. Now, a couple of things to, regarding the clothing is we like to bring our own laundry bag, uh, just cause you'll definitely want to keep the dirty stuff away from your clean stuff throughout the week. So this is super easy to throw in. Um, and then uh, bare boat companies like the Moorings or Navigar, uh, they will provide linens, uh, both beach towels and regular towels to use, but we like to also bring the quick dry towels. These are super easy to throw in your beach bag for the day and uh, they stay fresh throughout the week. So if you're skippering the boat yourself like we do and not hiring a captain, these are some items you're gonna wanna make sure you have on your list. So first, most charter companies will provide a cruising guide for you, but for us, we've purchased them ourselves for different areas that we've cruised in, and we like to make notes and uh, plan our itineraries based off of the information on these books. So go ahead and get you one of these and make sure you take it with you just in case. Um, next, we have a headlamp or a flashlight. Um, these are for dinghy rides at night or just being able to check on things on the boat throughout the nighttime. Definitely wanna have a flashlight or headlamp with extra batteries. So again, most companies are gonna provide a snorkeling gear. Um, it's not the greatest quality, I'll be honest. So we make sure we take our own mask and snorkel. Um, this is because we dive on the anchor just to make sure everything is secure um, whenever we get to our spot. So you'll wanna take your own stuff if you prefer that. Um, lastly is a dry bag. Uh, this is for when you take the dinghy uh, to and from ashore. You don't want things to get wet like your phone, your wallets, or any kind of paperwork you need. So make sure you take a small dry bag uh, for those dinghy rides. All right, so these are some of the small travel hacks that we would recommend for you guys. Uh, first is single-use laundry detergent. I found these on Amazon and we will link them in the description below. Um, this is so you can hand wash things in the sink. That way you're not overpacking. You can wash and reuse things. Most bare boats will have a few clothespins to hang up your stuff to dry, uh, but if you're taking eight people like we normally do, uh, you'll wanna take a few more. That way everyone has an opportunity to hang their stuff up. Uh, baggies, uh, all sizes, shapes. Uh, definitely take these for provisioning for leftovers or waterproofing things. Uh, your own seasonings and spices. If you're gonna cook on the boat, you'll wanna make sure to take your own. Um, little goes a long ways, but they are super expensive take those and lastly uh, this is going to sound a little weird but dog poop bags 
Um, these will be used in the cabins, uh, bathrooms, the heads. Um, that way the trash doesn't get stinky throughout the week and help the odor control in the heads. All right, so there you have it. That's our travel tips for packing for a bare boat sailing charter. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we leave for Abacos in a few days, so stay tuned. We'll have lots of new content for you.